The Hall of Fame is the most prestigious Hall of Fame uh, still of all time of any sports. Of the required 75% threshold were controversial figures Kurt Schilling, Barry Bonds, and Roger Clemens. Two players who didn't get in, obviously Barry Bonds, Roger Clemens, both received 59%. Should they be voted into the Hall of Fame? Obviously, we, we know the, the elephant in the room, but what I will tell you is I've never seen a better hitter. Bonds didn't let the lack of a long-term contract affect his play on the field as he won his second MVP award in 92. Bonds hit 311 with 34 homers and 103 RBI. Should Bonds be in? Barry Bonds should have been in the Hall of Fame at his first opportunity. I've seen Tom Brady do what he did in overtime, but, but this was this is the hardest thing, single thing to do in sports, and he did it the best that it's ever been done. That's hit a baseball consistently. This one is going, going, it is gone. Those are some of the greatest moments of my career because I've never seen anything quite like that. But that might deep to right field, way back and gone. And allow me to tell you why I believe he's not in the hall. Obviously, he resorted to using PEDs. Hey, Tom, question for you. Who do you think will get in the Hall of Fame first, Barry Bonds or Pete Rose? Barry's a friend of mine. Uh, and I think till this day, Barry said he didn't use them. Barry, how do you respond to the allegations in this book? Man, I won't even look at that book. It's full of lies. Players have cheated since, you know, time immemorial. The first corked bat was Babe Ruth's. He tried to cheat. I said, is, is scuffing a ball cheating? He said, yes. I said, is sticking a needle in your butt cheating? He said, yes. I said, is sticking a needle in your butt a bigger cheat? He goes, absolutely not. My issue is not with the attempt to cheat. I mean, Gaylord Perry, you know, has a book about the spitball. When you scuff a baseball and you know what you're doing, you almost guarantee success by doing that. When you stick a needle in your butt, you don't guarantee anything when you do that and now with Pudge Rodriguez suspicions first ballot Mike Piazza suspicions first. in last year Bagwell suspicions in this year how can that not help Bonds and Clemens moving forward I think what was more amazing is that I looked at Bonds the way I looked at Lance Armstrong or I looked at Clemens the way I looked at Lance Armstrong everybody was cheating and they were that much better than fellow cheaters like, Lance should be celebrated in a sport that's completely tainted, in my opinion. I mean, the sport is all about cheating. And with Bonds and Clemens, they did what everybody else was doing because they saw everybody else doing it. In his mind, I believe he had to because he watched what Sosa and McGuire did in the, the summer of love. Swing, and it's BB, baby, back to back. Woo, look at this one. Upper deck. Sammy drops one. Get out the tape measure! Long gone! Craxel winds and fires. Big Mac. Swing! And a shot into the corner. It might make it. There it is! Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa in 1998 in their chase for the all-time single-season home run record. To me, Mark McGuire wasn't a Hall of Famer without PEDs. There are some people who it's obvious. A guy like Mark McGuire, the juice was his whole thing. Mark McGuire hit one in batting practice to come within two rows going out of Bush Stadium. Now, that's just not normal. Mark McGuire saying this is so obnoxious it almost defies description. I was a born home run hitter. I mean, unfortunately, I did take PEDs. And I've regretted that. I've talked about that. I regretted it. I didn't need to. He would have never sniffed those numbers, including the 52 at that stage in his career, without the juice. And the fact that he would have the gall to come out now, the nerve, and say he could have done it without the PEDs, then why didn't you? Mark McGuire and Sosa are the reasons Bond started juicing. Because they took his rightful place as the best player in the game away from Amen. him. I mean, the, the stuff was so egregious, what Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa was doing, that Mark McGuire showed up to Capitol Hill and forgot how to plead the fifth. Guy like Sammy Sosa is a total creation of the stuff. At the age of 29, goes from a guy who no one would ever confuse with a Hall of Famer to Babe Ruth. And y'all want to act like these brothers are better than me because they're stealing the hearts of America because they're chasing a single season home run title? That's what y'all going to do to me? Barry Bonds said, oh, that's what we're doing new now?
John, JC, that, that's what Barry Bonds said. Oh, that's what we doing? So let me show you what I could do if I was doing what they're doing. Deep to right center field, and that is number 512. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hell with it then. I guess I could do that too. Oh, boy. 3-3. Three, three. Wow. This guy was the GOAT. He was the best player in the game. Then he saw everybody else using steroids. He like, oh, okay. Y'all want to play that game? And Bonds hit from high. It's a deep. It is Those guys were cheating. And Barry Bonds said, damn it. Look at y'all celebrating now when they ain't even in my class. Barry Bonds, even without PEDs, without. was a Hall of Famer. Yes. Barry Bonds was a Hall of Famer before he allegedly, presumably, ostensibly started using performance-enhancing drugs. Bonds was already a first ballot slam dunk, should be unanimous Hall of Famer at that point. Mark McGuire, a, a, a Hall of Famer, before he started hitting home runs? No. Bonds was already one of the two or three greatest left fielders who ever lived. If you took his statistics from the time he entered the league to 1998 when he started juicing, he would be a Hall of Fame candidate. If it were me voting, I'd vote him in. But was Barry Bonds a Hall of Famer before he started hitting home runs? Yes, he was. Barry Bonds is the greatest player I've ever covered in the 37 years. There really isn't a close second. If you were a Hall of Famer, at the moment you started cheating, you'd already had a Hall of Fame career, you're in. It's not gonna, you're not gonna hit the horse back in the barn, unring the bell, you're in. When it comes to the greatest hitters ever, it's Babe Ruth, Ted Williams, and Barry Bonds. That's the list, and I don't think there's a fourth that goes in with those three guys. But if everybody associated with me practically is doing it, but I'm still better than them, just like I was better than them before I started using steroids, to me, that shouldn't take away from anything. If you are not a Hall of Famer when you started cheating, and the cheating made you a Hall of Famer, you're not in. McGuire's a no, Sosa is a no, Bonds is a yes, Clemens is a close call, I would vote yes. This ain't hard. But as it pertains to Barry Bonds, there's nothing that justifies to me leaving him out of the Hall of Fame. Roger Clements is an entirely different matter. He had an opportunity to go away from the game, mind his business, not try to doggedly fight something where the guilt was clearly aimed in his direction, and he didn't do so. Think about this. Unlike Sammy Sosa, unlike Rafael Palmero, unlike Mark McGuire, this man was retired. Others didn't bring it on themselves yep. the way that Roger Clemens did. And I think that's why Roger Clemens deserves to be out more than anything else. Barry Bonds should be in. Barry Bonds, no doubt, as Ryan just alluded to, deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Let us consume it how we choose. You don't do that for us, baseball. Nobody likes me. separate personality. I didn't like Barry Bonds. But that doesn't mean, you know, I didn't see greatness when I saw him. He was just, by nature, not a nice guy. Yeah. Well, so what? I had a job and a career that millions of people were watching. Yeah. And I didn't know how to respond to yeah. it. And he came up in behind me and grabbed my arm in his vice grip and just held my arm and just stared right into my eyes for, like, probably 10 seconds. It seemed like two minutes. And I just looked at him like, and, you know, like, are you trying to intimidate me? I'm not afraid. I'm going to just gain your respect and love by just performing it. But they don't have social skills. And I was one of those people. He's just a bad guy. One of the worst guys I've ever covered. I don't like Barry Bonds as a guy. Yeah. And I don't care. It should not matter. Should not. A drive down the right field line near the foul pole. It is gone. A home run for Bonds. What, was he not a... Good guy, not a good guy, belonged in the hall from day one. Bonilla is running on the payoff pitch. Bonds with the drive, deep right field, go ball, it's gone! We're talking about on-base percentage, on-base plus slugging, slugging. It shattered Babe Ruth's on-base percentage yeah. because you just couldn't get the man you out. Sneak it by him. So he had a drive, left center field, this one is over! It's simply this. 
he was the first hitter who ever had the advantage over the pitcher because yeah. we've always seen the pitcher have right. the advantage. They would walk him, and then they'd say, no, we can try to pitch to him, and he okay. would literally see two pitches a night. He would crush those pitches. The pitch. There's a long one to right field. Forget about it. This one is headed for New Jersey. High into the upper deck. Barry Bonds with a spectacular three-run homer. He was simply the greatest hitter in the history of baseball. Nobody. In the decade of the 90s, has more home runs, more RBIs, more runs scored than that man. And the greatest player in the history of baseball. He won eight gold gloves. Eight. Seven, seven silver sluggers and three MVPs. Is that a Hall of Fame? Yes. Career? Barry Bonds played over seven seasons with the Pirates. He collected 984 hits with 176 home runs and 556 RBIs. If he just takes his best, I'm going home. I don't want to even play no more. Y'all, I, y'all can't get me out anyway. He's a Hall of Famer. <laughs> Bonds stole 251 bases, fifth all-time in Pirate history. He also collected three gold gloves and two MVP awards during his stay in Pittsburgh. Let Tom Brady, I want you to have Tom Brady go the entire game and he doesn't throw a pass, and he get two chances to throw the game-winning touchdown from 25 right. yards out. When he would see maybe two good pitches a night, hittable pitches a night, and, and he would hit them as hard as you could hit them, and it would either hit the wall or go over the wall. Deep to right field! This one is on its way to McCovey Cove! Number 500, it's into the water! I want Steph Curry to go the entire game. Mm -hmm. Clay Thompson to go the entire game. That's true. And I want them to hit a game-winning shot After from 25. Mm -hmm. And they don't take a shot the entire game. When it comes to Barry Bonds' career, everyone is going to have a different opinion. None of them wrong or 100% right. But we can all agree that no batter has ever been feared by pitchers more than the former San Francisco Giants outfielder. The ball had the potential to leave the park every time he stepped to the plate, which is something you can only say for a select few players in MLB history. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Major League Baseball has been around for almost 140 years with over 210,000 games played under its belt. Since the end of World War II, this has only happened twice. What if Barry Bonds comes to the plate with the bases loaded? Am I going to walk him? He looks like the easiest guy in the world to pitch to because if it mattered, you just walk him. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Buck Showwater says, you know what? I'm so afraid of this man. I'm going to walk a run in. With the bases loaded. You walk I'm going to walk a run in. I refuse to pitch to you. And it was a smart move, too. <laughs> yeah. It was. It's so much better than all the other hitters in the game that you, you, you got you to pick your fights. You know, you got to get 27 outs. You got to know where they are. You know, they're not going to be with him. And they're walking him with the bases loaded and intentional This is when you have officially peaked as the best player in Major League Baseball. Intentionally walked with the bases loaded. Jesus Christ. Jason, here's the bottom line. What gives your team the best chance to win? Right. Not the scrutiny of the questions that are going to be asked, what if? Can you guys imagine that? Barry Bonds was so intimidating and so good at hitting that the opposing manager thought it would be a better idea for the pitcher to walk him as opposed to pitching him and possibly giving up a grand slam. And I knew that they had brought him in on a double switch. He didn't start that game, and I knew Jeff Kent wasn't hitting behind him. Brent Main's a good hitter, good major league career. He was on deck. But I had a shot at facing Barry Bonds or him. Good idea. We now return to your regular programming. You can give you a man all the PEDs you want, but you still have to make contact, man. That ball is drilled to deep right, and that could be number 400. It is. He's done it. That one's high. Deep right field. This has a chance. Gone. Bonds hits one high to right field. Hits one deep. Number 60 out of here. Bonds well to center. Finley back at the wall, out of here! Bonds with a drive, looks like number 70 for Barry Bonds, and it is! Bonds hits one to left center field, he hits it well, let's go back, it is out of here! Number 700! Barry Bonds, deep drive right field, 714! The pitch. Bonds hits one high. 
Hits it deep to center. Out of here. And Barnes hits it high. Hits it deep. It is out of here. 756. High hand Ooh. coordination. Ooh. And I totally agree. So why didn't the other guys that were using PEDs put up these numbers? Good question. That's because they weren't they good weren't enough, good. Shannon. Exactly. You just said it. You know in order for Barry Bonds to win those seven MVPs, the writers have to vote for him. It's not a... They voted for him. They voted for him then. during that time. We looked at the numbers and what he was doing, and we couldn't deny it. Even when you suspected he was doing it, you were so in awe of what he was doing mm -hmm. that you said, we can give the MVP to no one else other than him. How can you keep Bonds out when you uh, voted Pudge in on his first try mm -hmm. of, of Arm Rodriguez is in the Conseco book? Jeff Bagwell. Jeff forever. Bagwell yep. forever. Yep. Mm -hmm. They put Jeff Bagwell in. Conseco didn't say, I heard he was doing it. He said, I, I used to inject him. When Mike Mussina averaged 11 wins a year, 11, and never won a Cy Young. Never won a Cy Young. Oh, come on. How are you? How are you a Hall of Famer? I don't know. Gibson, Marischal, Koufax, Palmer, those kind of quality pitchers. He's on that level. The Hall of Fame is a museum that if you spend however long it takes to go plaque by plaque, room by room, step by step, the entire history of the Hall of Fame. Show who those two people are. That is Barry Bonds pre-steroids, just pre-steroids, and that's Chipper Jones' whole career. Barry Bonds is the best baseball player I've ever seen on a uniform. I have no problem with that. A guy that would have been in here clean, would have been considered one of the best all-around players, made a decision, and now that follows him. Chipper, by the way, got 97% of the vote. That Bill Belichick's going to be a Hall of Famer? He said draft picks taken for cheating the way a coach can. Steroids doesn't help him. So then maybe we just, maybe it's a fundamental disagreement of what the Hall of Fame, of what the Hall of Fame should be. Likes me, but that's okay, because I don't like y'all anyway, and I don't like y'all anyway.